Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the Tonic Studios Sweetheart Bouquet Kit and I don't know what number kit this is uh, since they've stopped putting the numbers on the kits but this one came a little late to me because we've had some bad weather in my area so um, it did finally arrive this morning though. So starting off with the Nouveau products, um, there's quite a lot in here. So we have a um, mini mica mist. This one is in pink carnation. Then there's mini pots of a crackle mousse and, and an expanding mousse. So uh, it's been a while I think since we've gotten um, these types of mousse. Usually it's the embellishment mousse that comes in the kits, but I like these smaller pots because they last me forever anyways, and so um, I like them for storage and just having a good variety. So for the crackle, there's Water Nymph. It's a really pretty color. And then with the expanding mousse, the nice thing about the expanding mousse is you can use it two ways. You can either use it as a regular embellishment mousse or if you put heat to it and then you'll get that um, puffiness of um, the expanded look. And this one is in misted mauve. So two, two really pretty, kind of a pastel color. Then we also get a vintage drop, which I really, really like. And this is actually a color that I already have, peppermint candy. It's really nice, coordinates really well with the um, crackle mousse here. And so I might set aside the one that came in this box um, as a giveaway item, since I already have one and it lasts me forever. Then we have, um, I don't know if this is one of several that you could potentially have or if everyone gets this, but it's uh, Lilac Bloom Confetti, and it's really pretty. It's got, um, it's all the same size, but it's got little um, flower-shaped uh, confetti bits and sort of that AB finish to it too. So you get, if you tilt it in the light, you get um, different color effects. So there's that. And there is a uh, sample pot of embossing powder in classic silver. It looks really, really dark in the pot. It looks almost like a charcoal gray. Uh, so it'll be interesting to actually see how this um, looks once it's been um, heat set and um, just to see what kind of silver you get from it. If it's like that bright white silver or if it's a more um, sort of a stainless steel silver. And then speaking of silver, there's, um, this is kind of neat. It's a six by six pad, 24 sheets of, um, different silver, it's called silver service because it's different silver effect um, specialty card. So we have hollow waves. I think this is one of the iridescent mirror cards, one of my favorites actually. You can see that rainbow effect. Then we get uh, Luna silver, which is a pearlescent silver card stock. Then we have silver screen, which is a glitter card. And I like, I like having them in these six by six sheets because I generally don't use um, a lot at a time. So uh, the smaller sheets work just fine for me. And then this one, well, it looks a little bit different from, from what's shown here uh, because this looks like it's all silver, whereas um, this is craft uh, interchanged with silver. So this is Silver Strokes foiled craft card. So it's craft on the one side, but it's got the silver striping, sort of a candy striping. So that's kind of um, that's kind of neat because usually it's the it's when we get um, a new color trend that we get a six by six paper pad. So that's that's pretty cool. And just to show the rest of the papers, pull out the larger sheets. So these are the uh, A4 size sheets. Um, we have classic card in ivory white, classic card in bubblegum pink, classic card in sugared lilac, and with the classic it's textured on one side and smooth on the other. Oh this is pretty. I think I have this. Um, this is a 
mirror card and soft amethyst. But I think this is like a more of a matte matte mirror. A pearlescent card in blue frost. This is really pretty. Still goes with that sort of minty blue. So everything goes really, really well. Very well coordinated. Um, this sheet here says this is specialty card in pink champagne, but this is their um, handmade cotton paper. So I don't know, I don't know if I got the wrong thing or I'll have to look it up online. But this is really pretty. I've seen this um, pattern before. It's really nice. And this is specialty card in Miami mint. So still going with that mint um, theme. Then we have a full sheet of glitter card in sugar crystal. This is really nice for um, like snow effect. I think we got something similar possibly when we got the uh, sweet sorbet. Um, so it's really nice for ice cream and, and things like that. And then this is the first time I think that I've gotten um, pattern paper in the A4 size. So this is Sweetheart Bouquet pattern paper. It feels, um, oh, it's double-sided. So you're getting two sheets that are exactly the same. It's just that they're double-sided. And I would say um, it's, it's thinner than the solid color paper. So I would say maybe a 60 pound weight. Um, so it's really nice. It's kind of something different to get the um, get pattern paper in the kits. So that's really cool. Those are our papers. And then in terms of the um, stamp and die set. So I also think I got an email <laughs> that was sort of an IOU. So I think we were supposed to get um, a binder with uh, this month's kit, but that didn't actually come packed. And so they're going to send it um, next month. And so there's here are our dies. And I... This. So these are really nice for um, quick and easy cards because they're so decorative. So it looks like we have different verso dies that will cut out different patterns, leaving sort of this square opening here. So if I measure, this is just the plain, um, a, a scalloped border die, and it's just just shy of four and one eighth and just shy of well it's just about five and three eighths so really um seems like this is designed for the standard us a2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and so when you cut out this frame or this matte layer you'll have a little bit of your uh, white border showing of your card base so that's perfect and at least for me because that's generally what I would do anyways for um, mats and layers onto my card base and then so you could use this by itself the scalloped edge um, die and there's even this uh, it looks squarish but I think it's a rectangular it's slightly slightly wider than it is tall and I'm guessing that's going to mat perfectly within here so that you get um, an outer uh, scalloped edge die and you can get um, sort of an inner scalloped edge if you want to cut out an aperture window, make maybe a shaker card out of this. But it does look like there's different options for what you can put in the middle here. So the same is true of this. So these two designs are verso dies. So they'll cut into your card different patterns and um, the outer edge and the inner edge here don't have um, cutting blades so they're going to stay um, uh, kind of intact but you'll just have this pattern cut out of your panel and in the center there are it looks like various options for other um, verso dies that you can uh, drop into the center or combine with this and create like a separate element to layer on top of since this is going to be solid when you cut this out so this is hard to read i can't tell uh, exactly what it says i think the last word is you i think this is thinking of you 
I could be wrong there. Um, but it's it's some sentiment, word sentiment, and um, a floral um, pattern that sort of looks like it could probably be mixed with either or, but I feel like it, it more matches this one. And then over here we have, I think, this is interesting. So this one and that one look like they sort of, if combined, um, have almost a circular border shape to it. You can kind of see that solid uh, circular portion there. So that sort of seems like it mimics this this pattern because you can see this almost has this circular um, shape to it. So you can almost like mimic that into the center design. This also has a circular pattern too. So if you look at that, there's like a circular edge to it. And then um, the center plate here looks to also have a word in there and some hearts. Um, but again, I'm having a hard time making out what that actually says. And so I'll have to die cut that to actually see what it, um, what the sentiment or the word is. But um, lots of different ways of using it though because this also has a rectangular scalloped edge uh, frame to it. So this looks like, yeah, so that'll go around that center portion so you can um, sort of create that as a as a separate sort of embellishment piece to go onto your card or I'm presuming that you can use this to um, yeah it looks like a lot of the stamp sentiments will fit within here as well which um, we have a lot of different ones so there's thank you missing you always in my thoughts um so that's really cool and i like that there's also little little font uh sub sentiments so um we have thank you so very much um we have from the bottom of my heart just to say thank you uh someone very special or you could do you are uh, someone very special. So lots of ways to mix and match and combine. And then there's different floral embellishments for uh, corners, border pieces. You could probably create um, little accents to your sentiments as um, like leading and trailing embellishments. Um, like that one would be great for that purpose. So a really, really um, versatile set of stamps and dies that I think will make for some pretty quick cards too. And so I think that's, that's really fantastic. So I don't have immediate plans to craft with this kit, but when I do, I will definitely link to that project at the end of this video. Thanks so much, and until next time, happy crafting, and have a fantastic day. Bye!